radio satellite enthusiasts. I wanted to do a short video today showing you my web-based tracking software that uh, I like and use and I don't see a lot of other people using it. Uh, so let me show you how I use this web-based tracking. <laughs> so let's uh, go right into here and we'll just uh, paste this link and here we are this is from the amsat.org uh, site and uh, I really like this and I don't see a, a lot of people uh, uh, using this for some reason but uh, when you first bring this up I'll put a link to this down below actually uh, but when you first bring this up, uh, you're going to have to, the first thing you want to do is put in your grid square so that it knows where you are in the world. So you go up here to locator and you type in your, your grid square, your six digit grid square, grid square, mine is Charlie November 82, November India, and uh, I've already put it in there. And then you go resolve and set new. So what that'll do, that'll put a house right over here where you're located. Uh, if you're located in India, it'll put the house right there. But uh, since I'm located over here on the West Coast in Southern Oregon, uh, it put my house right there. So that's the first thing you do. Then the next thing you do is you hit reload. just like that and it will reload because the first time you put your grid square in it really it probably it won't have a good portion of all these satellites so uh, it didn't look like it did anything there and it really didn't because I've already been there this morning but uh, after you put your grid square in there uh, you will have to hit the reload button to get all these satellites. So these are basically uh, 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 showing all the satellites that are out there right now uh, in the AMSAT uh, uh, grouping. So you're going to have to decide whether you want single sidebands linear satellites or if you want to watch uh, the single sideband plus the FM birds or just the FM birds or FM digital satellites, weather satellites, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it says show all. You don't want to show all of them. You could if you want. But uh, I like to work, well, actually, if you're just starting out and you want to work the easy satellites and just the FM birds, you'll click right here, number 31, purple. Click like that. And then that'll just show you the FM birds that uh, uh, you, you can use. And then you go down to uh, down here and uh, say for instance you want to track AO92. So you click on that and that will circle AO92. And that shows that it's over uh, North Africa into Europe and uh, it's traveling on a on a uh, path going north and then west and then uh, coming down uh, the uh, Pacific off the uh, coast of the United States. So basically this is showing that uh, the elevation of AO92 is going to be only seven degrees. It's not going to be a real high pass at all, but it shows the uh, orbit number, it shows the date, shows the time that uh, it's going to acquire the signal and then the time that the signal is going to uh, LOS or loss of signal. And this, if uh, you want to go outside with a handheld aero antenna and a compass, this shows you that it will, uh, uh, the 
AOS, or the acquisition of signal, will be at 343 degrees. Uh, the closest it will be uh, it will be 300 degrees, and uh, it will eventually lose signal at 253 degrees. So then you can come down here. You can see the uh, the frequencies. Here's the frequencies, the uplink and the downlink. And uh, with FM birds, you don't have much Doppler shift to uh, deal with at all. So uh, typically, you can use those uh, uh, those frequencies and and be pretty well pretty well be assured that you're going to hear and, and uh, be able to use the satellite. Only problem with the uh, FM satellites is uh, they get very crowded, and uh, it's like everybody talking over everybody. Uh, and uh, I like to use the the linear satellites, the single sideband linear, linear satellites. And uh, if you wanted to show those, you'd click right there. And now those are just the sideband satellites. And uh, they get a little trickier to use with Doppler shift. It becomes a real big issue. And uh, uh, it's a little more complicated, but that's uh, outside the scope of using this software. Basically, uh, the next uh, single sideband satellite coming into uh, uh, view here is RS-15. So if you click on RS-15, uh, it shows that it's uh, just north and it doesn't have the circle yet because it's coming in, but it's showing a big wide, a wide berth here. Uh, and uh, as it gets closer, the circle or the footprint will show. Uh, the one after that is X-ray Whiskey 3 Alpha or X-ray Whis Whiskey 3. That's this guy right here, the little yellow guy. And he's right over us right now. He's uh, going south, uh, just to the west of us. And uh, again, he's uh, got a, a halfway decent pass at 32 degrees. Uh, the acquisition of signal was at uh, four degrees. If you wanted to go outside and point your arrow antenna at, uh, at four degrees, and then you just kind of follow it in the sky until it got to 310 degrees. And that would be the closest overhead uh, uh, azimuth that it would be and then you'd follow it on over to 221 degrees which is where you would lose the signal and again the uplink here is uh, uh, frequency is uh, 145 872 the downlink frequency is 435 173 and as you can see the frequency is changing pretty rapidly here and that's the uh, Doppler shift this also shows uh, where the satellite is in the horizon. Uh, nice, uh, nice little deal here. This up here shows uh, what the current azimuth is. Uh, if you uh, wanted to know exactly what the uh, compass bearing is right now, it shows that. It shows what the uh, elevation is right now. Uh, and of course, it shows the X-ray Whiskey 3, the satellite that we're tracking right now. So that's the uh, software that I use in a nutshell. I like it really well. And you can go down and you can see it predicts uh, passes uh, throughout the, the whole day. Uh, RS-15 or RS-CS4A, that's a great pass. Uh, that's uh, coming over today at uh, 1622. Uh, and uh, it's an 81 degree pass. And again, uh, if uh, you want to go outside with your aero antenna, handheld aero antenna, uh, and uh, point it at uh, an acquisition signal at 275 degrees. Uh, its uh, closest point overhead would be 37 degrees, and uh, you would lose the signal at 95 degrees. So there you go. That's a basic, real fast tutorial on how to uh, use this particular software for tracking satellites. It's one of my favorites, and I use it a lot. So. 73s, amateur radio satellite users. This is N7RBP. We're out. So if you want to know which satellites are, are actually active at any given point in time, uh, you're going to want to go to amsat.org slash status. And uh, you can see which of the satellites uh, are uh, active and which ones are not. Uh, if you've got a, uh, well, say for instance, we were just talking about uh, AO91, or was it AO92? Well, whichever. 
here's AO91. And uh, uh, on November 17th, we've got uh, three herd uh, in the blue, one herd, and who it was, and all the way across, they're all in the blue. So it shows to be an active satellite, transponder repeater active. Uh, uh, CAS-4A, for instance, uh, uh, it's not quite as, uh, quite as good. It shows the beacons. Uh, so there's some active ones. Uh, the IS, International Space Station, FM uh, portion of the uh, space station right now uh, is inactive. There's, it's in the red. Uh, and it was, let's see, it was uh, back on November 14th, 13th, and 12th, it was active, but they've got some docking going on now, and I think they've shut it down, so these are all red inactive. But all the way through, here's your uh, X-ray 2 Whiskey Alpha. Uh, it shows active. That's a linear sideband satellite. It shows active. Uh, basically. Uh, so uh, that's where you want to go to see if a particular satellite is active. And on the uh, web-based software that uh, we just talked about, uh, there are a number of satellites there that uh, are being tracked, but uh, a number of them are not active. So uh, before you go uh, uh, trying to track a satellite from that software, uh, come here and uh, check the satellite that you're interested in and see if it uh, is indeed active. So there you go, amsat.org slash status. There we go.